Michelle Obama, there she is, gracing the cover of Vogue magazine for the third and final time as First Lady. Looking lovely as ever. She's looking back at her life in the public eye and looking ahead at her plans for the future. In the twilight of her time as First Lady, Michelle Obama is opening up about being mother-in-chief and life in the White House. In an exclusive interview featured in this month's Vogue magazine, Obama revealing how she felt called to shape the role traditionally defined by social gatherings and pet causes, saying, I could have spent eight years doing anything, and at some level, it would have been fine. I could have focused on flowers. I could have focused on decor. I could have focused on entertainment, because any First Lady rightfully gets to define her role. Michelle Obama set out to make a difference. You should come up and give me a hug. <laughs> Michelle Obama has become one of the nation's most popular figures, praised for her Let's Move campaign, her eclectic sense of fashion, and her powerful speaking style and charm. I have seen the very best of the American spirit. Gracing the magazine's cover for her third and final time as First Lady, Obama says when it comes to her legendary taste in designers, she tries to be conscious of the power of the position. Are they good people? Do they treat their staff well? Do they treat my staff well? Are they young? Can I give them a boost? Adding that ultimately fashion conscious wins out. When all of that is equal, is it cute? But when it comes to life after 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Mrs. Obama tells Vogue she isn't yet prepared for that role. I won't know until I'm there, she says. I've never been the former first lady of the United States before, adding, but I will always be engaged in some way in public service and public life. Now, Michelle says that she's worked really hard to maintain some kind of normalcy for the kids. They're going to stay in Washington until the youngest, Sasha, finishes high school in a couple of years. But the president was also quoted in this article. He says people are gra they gravitate towards her because they see themselves in her, and she's also not afraid to be a little self-deprecating, which yeah. always comes across. He clearly gravitates toward her as well. Yes. <laughs>